Murray Schaefer, who was the originator of the whole idea of soundscape, said that hearing is a way of touching at a distance. My research draws conceptually and directly on contemporary music as a way of representing sound in landscape architecture. And it does so in order to connect us to the temporality of landscape in new and interesting ways. Sound reveals properties of landscape that are quite different from visual properties in terms of its temporality, in terms of its materiality, and in terms of its spatial qualities. We can hear now in the background the sounds of the combustion engine, which kind of dominates the auditory experience of so much of our lives in cities. And yet in the next 10, 20 years, this will be almost completely removed. And I think that my research is really important because it's allowing us to imagine what the auditory experience of cities will be like in the future. So working with the second year master's students, we look at precedents from music, of course, but also from film and architecture in order to develop new representational tools that allow us to adapt and investigate the dynamism of the landscape itself. My research is part of a broader departmental interest in landscape experience about temporality of landscape and change and how it is that we can anticipate and contribute to important discussions about climate change.